Andrew Tate, we all love him. We? The guy's been getting more and more relevant as of late. When he got suspended on all social media sites, most of us thought he would lose relevance sooner or later. We were wrong. <laughs> I thought when he got arrested, it would be the final nail in the coffin. But nope, the guy got his Twitter account back thanks to Elon Musk. And it has been nothing but hilarious from that point on. Like his tweets are what make my day feel special. It's like getting an early morning blowy from a supermodel. In some of these tweets, the guy truly believes he's an anime character. Reading books is a very cheap way to, I guess, entertain. I wouldn't call it entertainment because my brain is far too advanced. I'm too smart to read. I had a regular checkup organized in Dubai pre-detention. The doctors were extremely interested in the scar on my lung. They do not understand how I survive with that treatment. They do not know the secrets of... <laughs> they do not know the secrets of Wudan. But this battle has long passed. And I think that's Andrew Tate's dad fighting, um, fighting like ghost warriors and shit. And I think that's Andrew Tate. Oh no, no, that's his brother. Because in reality, Andrew Tate doesn't have hair anymore. How many of you have genuinely tried to fly? Um, I, I would say no one, Andrew. Like humans can't fly, bro. We don't have we don't have wings or supernatural powers that enable us to fly. Bro's living in an alternate reality for real. Genuinely, how many of you have researched, trained, and truly tried to fly? None of you. Well, Andrew, if humans could actually fly, we would know by now. There would be plenty of scientific papers written already of humans like being able to fly. But that's that's not a thing, Andrew. We are humans. We we can we can swim though. So that's that's one thing, but flying, no, dude, that's out of the books. Why? Because you think it's impossible. It, it is impossible, Andrew. We don't think it is. You've never pushed yourself because you believe the goal can never be achieved. Delusions! As one of the most influential men on the face of this planet. No, you're not, dude. Not influential, just, just infamous. It's important for the good of humanity that I live for as long as possible. Bruh, if you were to cease to exist right now, nothing would happen to this planet. This is Earth before Andrew Tate ceases to exist, and this is after Andrew Tate ceases to exist. I see no changes. At my current strength levels. This guy genuinely thinks he's a super saiyan. At my current strength levels. Dude, who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Jeez. I estimate to survive for at least 5,000 more years. A Andrew, dude, you're not a warlock. With this in mind, I take medical care extremely seriously. That's a good thing, I guess, bro. But no matter how much you care about your medical health, you won't be surviving 5,000 years, bro. It's an opportunity. It has been over 5,000 years since I spent 96 hours straight practicing the Kai Zamazuki technique. This is called Kizami Zuki. Jab punch. The jab punch. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on. You probably need an extra 5,000 years to master the Kaioken technique, but you go, buddy. You can do it. There is one story that visits me often in the cell. I told Budan in the year 109, Mr. Poe took me to the cliff's edge. The first lesson in Zen is about mortality, he said. When you reach my level of power, you know exactly when you will die. <laughs> this is fucking insane. This has been watching too much Kung Fu Panda. I am in a cell. I have extremely limited freedom of action. Every day, I do 500 squats, 500 push-ups, practice my tiger paw technique, walk 10 kilometers, write and complete lessons for the students inside the real world. Read and respond to one hundreds of letters. Oh, that's that, that's cool, I guess, Andrew. But you mean to tell me your fans couldn't send emails? They're still like writing hand delivered letters to you. But this is probably a lie, since I don't think like any of your friends know how to write shit. To be honest, I think Andrew Tate's trolling us, guys. I don't think anyone with common sense in their head, a full breathing human would literally believe this bullshit. I think he's just playing us. But if that's not the case, I think he has been knocked way too hard on the head back when he was still doing his EFC shit. And some people unironically look up to this person. Like how, bro? How? Anyways, I'm certain that this is what happens when you spend all day on Twitter and don't go outside. Well, in this instance, he can't really sense he's in jail, you know? And wait a minute. 
how the fuck is he tweeting in prison bro and it's as if people are forgetting that this isn't a normal thing i thought they take all your belongings when you get sent there even young Doug doesn't have his phone in jail like what the fuck is going on since tate's been in jail it's been interesting to see how his biggest d riders have been acting without their supreme leader and no i'm not talking about 14 year olds and middle-aged men who don't have anything to live for who i'm referring to are people with large audiences on youtube and twitch two people in fact i'm talking about aladdin ross and schmeagol yo a lot of you need to wake up wake up come back to reality get off the tiktok get off the so after sneaker got his twitch account deactivated he joined rumble a twitch alternative and lost some of his clouds let's just say things haven't been going well for kaki mccarkison here lately he has been taking the matrix literally like all the alpha male red pill blue pill whatever pill people that also watch perky blinders edits on tiktok the guy went from a thought-provoking video maker to andrew tate's backup dancer in his earlier videos even if you had disagreed with some of his points they were still entertaining to watch but now i don't know what he's turned to his videos are now as pathetic as your friend who picked in high school for dumb antics doing them again in your reunion so that people can remember who he was it's it's pretty sad to see i heard he also became a muslim just recently which is cool if he's doing it to find peace in his already troubled existence and not to you know use that religion to support his biases he's also been giving us small and aspiring youtubers causes of how we can be successful in a website called creativity kit at a reasonable price of course Personally, I'd rather watch Soki Tom's recent video on how he grew his channel than a so-called genius that destroyed their career by trying to be a Tate wannabe. I'm just saying. But these days, you'll find him in one of Andrew Tate's tweets trying to stay relevant or using his name to, well, remain relevant. There, there's a SWAT team at my house right now, bro. I can hear him. With the restless now for Mr. Aiden Ross, when he isn't smelling Andrew Tate's chair, Bruh. you weird buddy. You'll find him making a fool of himself on Destiny's stream. Grab your popcorn ladies, gentlemen and everyone in between. Let's react to this train wreck, shall we? Oh, what's your opinion on Andrew Tate? Hey, <laughs> bro, you had, you had me bro. I really, really liked you until you said that bro. Why the fuck did you just say that, bro? You were so cool to me. You fucking everything you're saying, I agreed with, and you just had to fucking say. Why He's not, not a rapist, bro. He is not a fucking rapist, bro. He is not a rapist. Why would he rap anyone? He's hot. He has money. He's ripped. He has fucking clout. He has power. Why the fuck would he need rap anyone, bro? Yeah, this guy's been living under a fucking rock. There's been plenty of rich, famous, and attractive people that have done that before. Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Cosby, and Ami Hammer. Literally, all of them have been exposed for doing it and have more clout than Andrew Tate. I mean, do you think that hot people that are ripped with money and power don't ever rip people or rip people? Okay, I'll explain you what he did. He basically did OnlyFans before OnlyFans. So basically, he was a pimp or revolutionized pimping before OnlyFans. Oh, I get it now. How do you feel about OnlyFans? Uh, I think it's pretty good. Okay. He was basically doing OnlyFans, signing like basically like these OnlyFans agencies before OnlyFans. To be honest, I don't like it. If you are a DJ and there's plenty of adult entertainment on the internet, bro, it's not that difficult to look for it. But let me be unbiased here for a sec. OnlyFans helps adult actresses monetize their work themselves without the need of a middleman like Andrew Tate. I would say it's the same as YouTube is not needing MCNs anymore to make money on the videos they upload. So there's a huge difference between being pimped and OnlyFans. You know yeah, but OnlyFans doesn't <laughs> traffic women. I don't, do you know if OnlyFans is trafficking women? Well, doesn't what does trafficking women exactly mean? Oh my god, this guy is so... <sighs> Oh my god, this guy is so dumb. This reeks of the same energy as that one R. Kelly clip when they ask him if whether he likes teenage girls or not. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? I call it playing dumb. Thinking women exactly mean because right. thinking women means that he was using methods of deception by telling women that he was in love with them and wanted to marry them. He was bringing them over to Romania, and then he was using another girlfriend, his bottom bitch, to deceive the women into eventually getting into right. sex work, where they thought that they were still in love with him, but in reality he was just there to capitalize on their sexuality hey bro, and sell their. Welcome to the world, bro. And that's what people do. I, I've gotten played before. I played girls before. Aiden. 
playing women isn't the same as it isn't the same as trafficking what the fuck are you on about that's literally taking women's rights away and forcing them into sexual labor like you can't just say welcome to the world for that it's literally a crime i know i know you like teeth but the writing must stop my guy it's time to get off now you're having too much you're having way too much fun bro it's already getting weird stop it get some help i see what you're doing here now to be honest if you ever said something like i mean it's different bro you're comparing hitler to tate come on well, I, the, it was an interest because I think there's a quote from Hitler saying OnlyFans is the second Holocaust. And he said that before he even did the first one. So I'm sure you'd agree with that at least, right? Wait, Hitler said OnlyFans is the Holocaust? The second Holocaust. Oh, all right. I see where this is going. Destiny was having a little bit of trolling, I see. A little bit of trolling. I'd probably do the same if I was streaming with him. If Nick hadn't uploaded these clips on Twitter, I wouldn't have known about the stream. But if you want to watch more of the VOD, there's a link on the video down in the description. So I hope you all have a good time watching that circus show. Keeps the vomits on the run, boy. Keeps the vomits on the run. Now, with all things said and done, I hope to continue witnessing this hilarious event play out more. I mean, who doesn't enjoy looking at a couple of dummies act like the hardest individuals ever on the internet? Who doesn't enjoy witnessing a couple of bozos think the Matrix is real and not just a concept from an early 2000s movie written by people that they themselves would hate if they met them in person? It's like watching a comedy. A tragic, embarrassing, and equally hilarious divine comedy. But anyways, don't forget to like and sub. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. You won't bother to fool him around When you've seen him, you're so gone, boy